I'd like to offer my congratulations on the Ministry of Railways, CII, and all the other organizations, individuals, working for the 2012 International Railway Equipment Exhibition 2017, with the aim of promoting innovation in the Indian railway industry. This year, 37, 39 Japanese companies, organizations, and research institutions are participating in the IREE 2017. I am happy that Japan is a partner country of this important event. I hope that this forum facilitates active discussions among participants from the railway industry in India and their counterparts from various countries, including Japan. On 14 September, during Prime Minister Abe's visit to Ahmedabad, a historic first step of the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail project was inaugurated in the presence of Prime Minister Modi, Railway Minister His Excellency Mr. Goyal, and other important dignitaries at the Sabarmati Gujarat. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail, MAHSL, project is a symbol of the solid and stable strategic global partnership between Japan and India. And I hope that this high-speed rail project will become a catalyst for further innovation, not only in the Indian railways, but also in the Indian society, economy as a whole. In Japan, when we planned to introduce the Shinkansen, which means high-speed rail system, in the 1960s, the railway industry was facing was considered a declining industry, facing strong competition from the civil aviation and automobile industry. However, the Shinkansen system played a vital role in reviving Japanese railway industry and bringing constant innovation on railway technologies. Shinkansen was not only economically successful, but it also restored the national pride and gave the confidence and the hope for the bright future to the Japanese people. The Japanese Shinkansen system has maintained a zero casualty record till now. Even during the Great East Japan earthquake with a magnitude 9.0, not a single one of the 23 Shinkansen trains which were running at that time derailed. This was thanks to the urgent earthquake detection system of the Shinkansen. Shinkansen's average delay time is within one minute, and the Shinkansen runs a frequency of every four minutes. Shinkansen turns around at the final terminal station within 12 minutes, including passengers alighting and boarding. Shinkansen is not highly safe and efficient, but it also provides comfort and convenience to passengers. Shinkansen cars use high technologies to prevent sudden uncomfortable shakes, vibration, and sounds. The high reliability and comfort attracts more passengers to sustainable Shinkansen system rather than automobiles and airplanes, contributing to reduction of greenhouse gases and efficient use of energy in Japan. High-speed rail also attracts TOD, transport-oriented development, around its terminals, such as the Tokyo <coughs> Station. High-speed rail induces the development of offices, hotels, shopping centers, and even art galleries, creating highly concentrated, sustainable urban development, and encourages people to use public transportation. This is another benefit of the high-speed railways for sustainability, creation of employment and economic activities. I believe that adoption of Shinkansen technology in India through transfer of technology and making India initiatives will certainly lead to the enormous improvement in the safety standards and upgrade of the service level in the entire railway network in India. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Railway will create a new industry cluster in India, 
expanding employment opportunities for the newly skilled Indian workforce with knowledge of state-of-art technology of high-speed railways. Currently, the government of Japan is implementing project not only in the area of high Indian high-speed railways, but also in metro projects in major Indian cities and dedicated trade corridor project, working closely with the government of India. The government of Japan believes that comprehensive cooperation between Japan and India to improve the conventional railway network is essential so that India establishes high quality infrastructure and efficient operation of railways in a short term, serving majority of Indian people. In the field of railway safety, in the conventional railway network in India, the government of Japan has already dispatched twice in January and August of this year a team of Japanese railway safety experts. So the government of Japan is working actively with the government of India on possible measures to improve railway safety and service level in the conventional railway network in India. For example, Japan is ready to support railway safety by providing signaling system and ATS, automatic train stop systems, as well as safety management. The ties between Japan and India are at their best ever. I'd like to express my sincere expectation that India develops steadily and that Japan could contribute to its development through the cooperation between Japan and India in the high-speed rail system and the conventional rail system in India. I hope and wish that railway industries of various countries can cultivate further cooperation and business ties among each other with candid exchange of ideas in the tariffs IREE 2017. Thank you very much.